So, Monday the 10th of February, time for more physics fun. This is the second video I'm doing today. This is another type of gas tube um, called a fine beam tube or a dual beam tube. You can do, do two different experiments with it. What we're doing at the moment is, it'll be very hard to see, I might be able to go in a bit closer, is that little glow is an electron gun. And that electron gun is pointed upwards. And so I've got about uh, ooh, six volts at the moment. So again, we're boiling electrons off. They're not doing much. Okay. Now what I can do is I can dial up an anode potential difference. And you might see a very faint beam coming in. And now that beam is pointing directly up. It's getting brighter because I am accelerating them faster and faster using, again, this cylindrical anode. We'll just zoom in a little bit. So you can see that beam going pretty much straight up. And again, I've got Helmholtz coils that are surrounding my bit of kit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to dial up the uh, magnetic field. And they're actually now striking across a fluorescent strip, which is really for another experiment. Let's just go back again. So I've turned the field off. We'll come back. And now what we're going to do, we're going to turn up that magnetic field and I can make my beam go in a perfect circle. Once we've got a circle, what we can do is then find various balance points where we change the different potential differences and we find different radii for the circle. So we can make the circle smaller and smaller and smaller. And obviously, it's a balance of the velocity that they come out straight up with, and then the magnetic field pulls them round. So the faster they are, the higher my um, anode potential is, the more magnetic field I apply to get them to go in a perfect circle. So we'll just take it back out again. And of course, the, uh, the reason you can actually see it, the dim glow, is gas excitation at a low pressure. So that's a fine beam tube used to find again E over M by the all the variables that I can take from the experiment. But in particular, it's the radius of the circle and the magnetic field that are the important points. Thanks for watching.